I'm Carolyn Herforth with The Biz Truth, and I get asked a lot about what my daily rituals are and how I go about planning my day. And so today I'm gonna talk about my daily ritual. So it all starts with not setting an alarm. I wake up whenever I damn well feel like it, and then I mosey on into the kitchen, I make some lemon water, or I make like this fire water concoction with it, which is lemon and some really good spices that are good for you and some co raw coconut oil, and it's amazing. And then I sit down with my book. And this is a book I had custom made. It's got some of my manifesto on it. And I love using this book and it's nice and sturdy, so it feels substantial. And I, there are a few things I like to write in my book every day. So one is I always start with gratitude because what you are thankful for grows, what you're grateful for grows. And so I always like to start with at least one thing. And if I can't think of anything, like if I'm going through a really crappy time, I'll be like, I'm glad I can breathe. And, um, <laughs> and then I also like to celebrate a success. So it might be one of my own personal successes, like, wow, I had a really great month or, it might be one of my client successes. Um, you know, wow, she made three and a half times her revenues this month than she did the month before. So some kind of celebration. So gratitude and celebration to me are kind of the same, but a little bit different. I figure out how I'm gonna move for the day. What's my exercise gonna be? Cause you have to move it every day. So for me, it might be going for a run. It might be going to kickboxing or yoga. If it's nice out, I'll go for a bike ride. So I always make sure that I've got my exercise on there. And then I like to set my intention. So this is, how do I wanna show up today? And so some days I'm, I might say, oh, I wanna feel flowy. And other days I might say, okay, I, like, I really wanna feel energized and I wanna bang this out. So it's, it, it just can be very different. So I set my intention. And then the next thing I do is I take a page out of Angela Gia Kim's book, her in her daily action planner, where she does a brain dump. And I call it the list of all the different things that I could be doing, uh, all the different tasks. And here's the thing, you're never gonna get everything done. You're an entrepreneur, I know I'm not gonna get everything done, so I just do the best I can. But what I do is I pick the three things I absolutely have to get done, and then I pick three things that are sales activities that will immediately or eventually, hopefully, bring in revenue. You're an entrepreneur. You have to be focused on sales activity every damn day. So just a minimum of three. That's all you have to do, a minimum of three. I have my big annual goals and then I also set 90 day goals and these are my 90 day goals. So I can always check back my daily plan against what my 90 day goals are. Are they aligning? Are my priorities optimized? Am I paying attention to the right things or am I wasting time on crap? And then one other thing I just wanna mention about the notebook before I set it down is, so here's the front. I flip it over on the back. So I love working with coaches and I'm working with a life coach right now and, when, and she gives me homework assignments. And so I just flip over on the back rather than carrying a notebook around for her stuff and a notebook around for my business stuff and it's all related anyway. I flip it over and I jot down all my notes on the back side of it so that I've got everything in one handy dandy little notebook. Okay, so a little bit more on my daily ritual and we'll be done. And that is, I never take my first appointment till 10.30 in the morning. So I'm a night owl and I just know, like I want my time in the morning, I need my creative time. So 10.30 to four, those are my hours. Those are my office hours. I have to be done by four because some days I just hit a wall, I'm done. I don't wanna work anymore. Maybe I wanna watch Ellen, maybe I wanna take a nap. Doesn't matter, I can do whatever I damn well please at four o'clock. And then usually a few hours later, I'm like, mm, I wanna work on a project. So a couple nights a week, I'll usually pick out a project that I wanna work on if I don't have anything social I wanna do or if I don't wanna continue just taking my downtime. So there you have it, there's my daily ritual.